Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about two things. Makeup company that I ordered from and a new beauty brand that I ordered from. New to me, not new to the industry. So if you're interested in seeing my new products, then just keep watching. I ordered some products from Beautylish. I absolutely love them. Not only do they have the best customer service, they respond promptly to anything that you ask. They um, respond quickly with your with emails regarding shipping. Your shipment comes very, very quickly. Um, and everything that they send out to you is so well wrapped. So I saved the box that it came in and I wanted to show you how well this was packaged. So here's the Beautylish box. It's a nice sturdy box. And then when you open the box, inside was pretty amazing. So I ordered, spoiler alert, some Jeffree Star cosmetics. So the wrapping is like this. Here's Jeffree Star's little emblem. I didn't want to rip it because I thought it was so nicely wrapped. And then inside there it had black tissue paper. The palette was wrapped in um, this brown paper. I thought I kept the too, but I guess I didn't. The bottom of the box came like this with more tissue paper and a little note from Beautylish. It, I love that it tells you exactly what you ordered and then they always have the where it came from and then it's signed by Pam who packed it. This packaging, right, and has black paper inside here, like black tissue paper, but then the palette came wrapped in this cardboard like bag and then it has like a tie, it was in this bubble wrap and it had this tie around the like it was all tied up. It looks so pretty. I know this is ridiculous and I'm showing you this. They have the best wrapping. Everything comes well packaged. You don't have to worry about something coming broken. I love this company. And another thing about Beautylish is that say you want to order something but you don't want to spend, you know, you don't have the budget that month to spend something. $52. The palette I bought, $52. You don't want to spend $52. You can break it up in two monthly payments. And what you do is when you check out, you pay half of it and then you pay the next half. And I think they also have three monthly payments where you can break up a larger order into, I think a hundred dollar order, you can break up into three payments. So you could pay a third, a third, and a third. But I thought that was really cool and I love this company. I ordered two years in a row from them for the Lucky Bags. The uh, Beautylish Lucky Bags come out the day after Christmas. So don't forget that. Put an alert on your phone. This year, I don't care what I have to do, but I will be driving to Texas and I will be ordering my Lucky Bag. And I'm bound and determined to get that extra large bag if they send it out to regular folk because I don't spend thousands of dollars at Beautylish. Not yet anyway, but they keep reeling me in. They're just everything about that, um, Everything about the beauty store, it's just an online beauty store that you can order from, is just amazing. I really, really do love them. So, Beautylish, you are the bomb. That out of the way. So I did pick up some Jeffree Star products. Now, I am a beauty lover. I am a makeup lover. I love trying out new brands. I like trying new products that I've never tried before. I like giving the makeup the benefit of the doubt, okay? I may not align myself with all the things that Jeffree Star believes in, all the things that Jeffree Star does, all his crazy antics, but I'm not above trying makeup to for the sake of makeup, right? I'm just, I love makeup, and I love trying new companies, new brands, testing them out, you know, hearing things about new brands, um, hearing things about different makeup companies, and making my own decision based on the makeup. Let the makeup speak for itself. That's pretty much what I want to say. I ordered some products. I have wanted this palette forever. This is the box. It says blood sugar and then the outside of the box and then this is just the sleeve and then this is the back. It's made in the United States and it's considered a pigment palette, a pressed pigment palette. And then here is the leather case. This is a substantial case. I love the packaging on this. It's just so pretty. I try so hard to keep it nice and clean. It says blood sugar and white, obviously. Um, and it's just a square palette. It's kind of big. Um, the back of it says, again, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And it tells you to watch him on YouTube and on Instagram. And I do follow him on both. And um, it's got a 12-month 
life shelf but ridiculous I use them forever and it's cruelty free and then when you open it the front's got these hinges when you open the palette up it's got a nice big mirror and it's got the Jeffree Star um, so emblems on either end and then there's all of your eyeshadows so pretty and when I first got it at home I was like man it doesn't have very many shimmers in it you can see that I have what is this called sugar sugar cane Sugarcane, I have worked over. I use that all the time. Um, at first I looked at it and I thought, this doesn't have very much shimmer in it. But do you know how many palettes I have that have that really thick, glittery, um, very glimmery um, eyeshadow? These do have sheen in them. And the, sh the like shimmer that's in them is... I don't, I don't know how to, like, more sophisticated, where you get that shine, but you don't have to have the over-the-top glitter, if that makes any sense. Um, the eyeshadows go on so smoothly. They are so pigmented. And I've watched some videos where people say that their eyelids are stained. If I use um, one of the red shades, I think it was Fresh Meat or, yeah, it was Fresh Meat. I had a little bit of residual redness on my eyes after I washed my eyes off, but minutely um, by washing my face off that night and then by the next morning I had nothing on my eyes, so I, you know that is not a concern or a problem for me. Um, the colors on this palette are beautiful. They're just right up my alley. They, the reds, the purples, and like today I wanted to do an orangey look because I'm going to get changed because the bears are playing today. And I didn't want to do too red and I didn't want to do too purple. But I used some of the colors and used some of the um, shimmers so that I could do more of a bronzy look. And I love it. And it was the first time I had tried to do that type of a look. Um, I really wanted to just let the makeup talk for itself. And I really did give it the best opportunity. And I can tell you that I was floored. I'm going to show you some of my favorites and I'll show you the entire palette swatched. Candy Floss, um, Sugar Cane I use all the time. They're so pigmented. The, the um, mattes are buttery, smooth. They blend themselves so easily. Um, and the sh shimmer shades are not too shimmery but they just give you enough. Like Candy Floss, oh my gosh. I, that's this color right here, Candy Floss, is so pretty. When you do any of the reds in the palette and then put Candy Floss all over the lid, oh, it's so pretty. Really sophisticated. You can beautifully do a winged liner over that. I've done that twice, and it just turns out so pretty. Today I have on Donor and Sweetener. My cat's outside crying, of course. There's, uh, this is Donor and then that Sweetener. Let me swatch these. So I did one of the mattes on here, and they're just buttery smooth. I just I want you to see this swatch. I'm going to make sure I'm doing the right spot. Do you see that? They These eyeshadows are so smooth. They're so soft. I desperately, I was holding off on doing this video because I wanted to pick up the Alien palette. But, of course, it went on sale right during the holiday shopping extravaganza time. And unfortunately, I have to buy them for more than just myself. I can't just go out on a crazy, which I'm always doing, a crazy makeup spend when I have to buy Christmas presents. So I didn't get to get the Allium palette. When I went back on to go pick up the Allium palette, it was sold out. I want the Androgyny palette. I really want the Androgyny palette. Just, you don't even understand. Do you see how I swatch this? Now, if I went all day long and had this and didn't wash my hands, this and didn't rub against anything. This would be on my hand just the same as it is now. My eyeshadow will look this good when I wash off my makeup at the end of the day. That doesn't always happen. And let me tell you, I have high-end makeup and it doesn't always happen with high-end makeup. These pigments stay on your eyes all day long. When I go to wash my makeup off tonight, I will literally look in the mirror and go, oh, I don't want to wash it off because it still looks so good. I go to work so early in the morning and I could put makeup on at 4 a.m and not wash my makeup off until 8 p.m. and my eyeshadow looks like I just got done putting it on. I kid you not. These eyeshadows have blown my mind. I I want to buy more of his eyeshadows. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I want more of his makeup. 
Uh, some of the other colors that I absolutely loved, Blood Sugar, oh, so smooth, so buttery, looks gorgeous on the eyes. Root Canal, this purple color, and then Intervenous. I mean, so that was like me go, literally, I'm going to show you, watch. So I'm going to go into can Cavity. I love Cavity. That's this bright pink, right? I'm going to swirl my hand in there. That's it. That's all I did. Swirl it like that. I'm not putting any pressure at all. There's four colors. And then I'm going to show you me swatching them. This is the hardest thing for me to do on my channel. Here's one color. I, I have nothing on my hand. I have no primer. I am just swatching away. Just barely touching and, and obviously I'm in a weird position and this purple looks like it's patchy but watch let me just go over it again not patchy at all goes on your eye beautifully I am telling you I went to work and I was raving about it and I had two of the girls buy it because I can't stop talking about it um, there's a reason that these palettes like fly off the shelf they fly off the shelf because it's amazing quality it's amazing colors this is a $52 palette I have palettes that are $129, $125, $228. I would pay more for this palette. I would pay for more for it. That's how good the eyeshadows are. They're so creamy. They blend beautifully. It's just like makeup on another level. I, I have on, and this was like getting ready for church and trying to hurry because we slept in longer than we usually do because we were up late last night. Today I have on my eyes Cake Mix, which is this color right here. And then I have a little bit of Ouch, this color. And then I have a little bit of Intravenous. I also have a tiny bit of Prick, this orangey, this pretty. This color is so pretty. And it does have, it, it felt like it had a little sheen in it, but it, not really, but it kind of does. So Prick is in my crease. And then all over my, on the outer part of my corner of our, on the outer part of my lid, I've got Donor, this color right here. And then on the inner part of my lid, I have Sweetener, this color right here. On my brow bone, I have Glucose, the white. And then I have a little bit of this on the inner corner to just brighten up my lid. So I'm just going to kind of scoot in and let you see. And then underneath my eyes, I have, I just absolutely love this eyeshadow. I mean... They blend themselves. They're just so pretty. Underneath my eye, I have sugar, or I'm sorry. Underneath my eyes, I have a little bit of cake mix, and then I have a little bit of intravenous, and a smidge of, I think, prick. A smidge of prick, just to brighten it up a little bit. I wanted to try some of his liquid lipsticks. I have placed another order, but I'm still waiting for it to come because it was during the Black Friday madness. Um, I picked up Christmas cookie. This is what I have on my lip, not my eyes. This is what I have on my lips today, Christmas cookie, and his lipsticks are amazing. I can't like I'm I'm blown away. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a liquid lipstick, not drying. You can put it on. It lasts. We went out to breakfast after church today. None of it has come off. I drank coffee. I ate breakfast. Nothing came off. And the lipstick's amazing. That's what it looks like. It's eighteen dollars for the lipstick. I ordered a bunch more during um, Black Friday and I was hoping to wait until I got them in to do this review, but I just couldn't. I used the palette today and I just want to talk about it. I love, oh, it smells good. I love this lipstick. It's right there, Christmas cookie. What a awesome lipstick. I am very particular about liquid lipsticks simply because I don't like to look like dry, um, like cracked lips. It looks terrible, right? So I really wanted to give this one a try. I am telling you, Beautylish and Jeffree Star, what a wonderful combination. Everybody's going to align themselves with Je Jeffree Star's thought process, just who he is or the things that he does. Um, I wanted to try his makeup just because I watched a bunch of his videos before and I've heard rave reviews about every product that he comes out with. And so I just wanted to try it for myself so that I could make an educated decision on whether it's a product line that I would like to continue to invest my money in. And I will tell you that I have been 
I, I mean, what more can I say? I'm floored, I'm blown away. I have already made another purchase, a bunch of lip liners and lipsticks, and I am waiting on that Alien palette to come back into stock, and I think he's coming out with a new highlighting palette, and I will be, I will be getting some type of a highlighter from him. Not sure which one yet. When I go back out to that Morphe store, I'm gonna swatch them again, and then I'll decide which one I wanna get. But there's a reason why his makeup is sold out all the time, and yes, he is a big, huge YouTuber, and he gets involved in a lot of stuff on YouTube, but his makeup is amazing. And I'm telling you, don't let some of his antics put you off of trying an amazing makeup line. I will be a Jeffree Star supporter. And since then, I have watched many, many, many. Since I purchased this palette, I've gone back on and watched many of his videos. And really, when you cut through it, he is a really, really good artist with makeup. And he creates an amazing makeup line. So I... I support it, I love it, and I'm gonna keep buying it. So I hope that you'll give it a, a chance. You know, if you're ever near a Morphe store that has any Jeffree Star products, and go in and swatch it, because you would be stunned. His products are amazing, and I give them a huge thumbs up. So I really enjoyed doing this video. I enjoyed trying this new makeup out, and I hope that you maybe got some information. I will leave Jeffree Star's makeup that I talked about today and uh, Beautylish down below so that you can check them out if you're interested. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I hope you'll subscribe, stick around to see what I'm up to next, and until next time, have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye!